getting all the documents ready for a US visa process can be quite a task. So I'm here today with this video to make this simpler and easier for you. In this video, you will find a comprehensive document checklist, especially for the B1, B2 visa category. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and welcome back to my channel. So I have uploaded a lot of videos on the US visa process. Make sure that you check them out. Something which I get asked very commonly and which bothers a lot of people is what all are the documents that we need to carry with us for the visa process. Now, there is no simple straight answer to this because these documents have a very important purpose. These documents are there to check how legit your visa application is, what is your financial stability and what are your chances of coming back to India. So to cover all these things, I have classified the documents that you need to carry with you into four different categories. And in this video, we are going to go through these categories and give you a checklist of all the documents that you would need. Let's get started. So the first category is essentials and in essentials are those documents which you absolutely must carry with you when you go for your visa interview. I mean, without these documents, you will not be able to give either your biometric or your visa interview. So the first essential document is the passport. So you need to, of course, carry your passport. But what you need to remember is you need to carry your old passports as well. So when you go for the visa interview and once your visa is approved, they will keep the latest one and return all the old ones to you. But for the process, you need to carry the old ones as well. So remember to take all your passports with you. Second essential document is your DS-160. Now DS-160 is the online application form which basically starts your US visa process. When you fill your DS-160, make sure that you save a copy of it on your drive or on your laptop and print this copy and carry it with you for your visa interview. In the interview, the embassy officer will also have a copy of your DS-160 with him. So it's important that you know what you have written in there because the questions might be based on it. I actually have a separate video which discusses how to fill DS-160 and what are the mistakes that you need to avoid in it. Make sure to check it out. The third essential document that you need to carry with you is your appointment letter. Now your visa appointment letter basically indicates the date and the time for your biometric as well as for your visa interview. And they need to see this letter to let you inside uh, both the biometric center as well as the uh, interview center. So make sure that you carry a copy of your appointment letter as well. So to summarize, these are the three essential documents that you absolutely must carry with you. Your passport, including all your old passports, copy of your DS-160 and copy of your appointment letter. So the next category that we are going to discuss are the financial documents. And financial documents are very, very important because Having the financial capability to travel to the USA is an important factor in deciding whether you will get your visa or not. This is because they don't want people to go there, run out of money, take up some illegal work and increase the risk of immigration. So it's important that you show you have enough funds for the designated duration of your trip. And here's my checklist of financial documents for you. Your bank statement. This is perhaps the most important financial document. So make sure that you have a very legit, clear copy of your bank statement for the last six months. If you can get it signed and attested by your bank, that will be better. Second is your salary slip. So make sure that you have a pay slip or a salary slip for the last three months. And this is either on the company letterhead or it has the seal and stamp of your company. The third are your ITR returns. ITR returns of last three years is pretty much essential. Fourth is proof of investments. So whatever investments you have, be it, fund, uh, be it FD, mutual funds, shares, or any other form of investment, carry a proof of these investments. Again, preferably signed and attested by your bank. And the fourth and the last financial document that you can carry with you is proof of any property or any long-term assets that you own in India. The third category of documents is the travel documents. The US visa process does not require you to book flight or hotel uh, before you apply for the visa but there are certain travel documents which you need to carry with you and this is your checklist for that. The first one is travel itinerary. Travel itinerary is basically a day-by-day -day plan of what you plan to do during your stay in the US. So you need to make a table which will have the day number on one column and your plan for that day on the second column. Print this document and carry it with you. The second travel document is the list of hotels. Now you need to have with you a list of two to three probable hotels along with their addresses and phone number which you intend to book during your stay in the US. 
If getting a list of hotels is not possible, at least have an idea about the areas where you plan to stay. If you are planning to stay with a relative of yours, then make sure that you have their full name and their full address and phone number with you. Third travel document is event details. If you are planning to travel to the USA for any event, be it personal or business, then you need to carry proof of that event with you. It could be event brochures, event websites or an invite letter which you might have got in your name. In addition to this, make sure that you know all details pertaining to that event such as venue, time, dates, sponsorship details, purpose of the event and so on. The last travel document is invite letters. Now invite letters are something which are very powerful and if done correctly can really help your US visa application. Invite letters can be used for both business as well as for personal travel. So if you are traveling for business or you are traveling on behalf of your company, then you can get an invite letter from your company, preferably get it from the US office of your company which states the purpose of your travel, the dates of your travel and also the sponsorship details. So if your company is funding your travel and paying for your flights and your accommodation, then make sure that that is mentioned in the invite letter. Now let's talk about invite letters for personal travel. If you are planning to go to the USA to visit a close relative such as siblings, parents or children, then you can also get an invite letter from them and this can help your visa application as well. The next category is personal documents. Now personal document varies with each person and it depends on each person's profile and honestly there cannot be a set checklist for this but still there are some personal documents which might be important to you. The first one is a letter of NOC or leave uh, approval letter from your company. So if you're planning to travel for a holiday, then you need to get this leave letter of approval from your company, which states clearly the intended dates of your travel and the purpose of your travel. If you are a business owner, then you need to carry with you proof of your business ownership. If you are a freelancer, then you need to carry with you proof of your work. For example, I had to show all my YouTube videos, so he actually opened my YouTube channel and checked all the videos that I had uploaded. So as a freelancer, make sure that you have some proof of your work with you. Uh, the last one is about sponsored trips. Now, if your trip is being sponsored by somebody else, then you need to have a letter from your sponsor, which clearly states that who uh, clearly states that they are sponsoring you. And you also need to carry proof of funds of your sponsor with you. So these are some of the personal documents. Of course, there might be more. It really depends on each person's profile and each person's purpose of travel. If you want my help in figuring out what all are the personal documents which might be essential for you, then book a one-to-one -one consultation session with me. I will leave the link for this in the description box below. This session will really help you to be more thoroughly prepared. I have worked with a lot of US visa applicants and helped them get through this grueling process and get their visa approved and I'm sure it will help you out too. So guys, this was quite an extensive video covering all the documents that you would need for a US visa process, especially for the B1, B2 visa. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section below. You can also DM me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is right below. Please make sure that you like this video and share it with friends and family who are also going through the US visa process. And like I mentioned earlier, I have other videos on the US visa process. I'm going to leave them on the screen right here. Make sure to check them out. So that's all for today. Signing off for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.